the school of Ahlul Bayt, you don't just say divorce, 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 and it's over. The community gets together. You get two judges to sit with each other. Two people of respect. Don't go to two Mawlana's, by the way. Yes, you don't have to go to Mawlana's. Get two people of respect, two people of wisdom. Because not everyone with knowledge has wisdom. Anyway, so you get two people from the community together. You sit them down. You sit the couple down. You have a separation period. Don't straight away do talaq. Separation. Don't live with each other for a few months. See if you miss each other or no. If after that they don't want to be together, then the school of Ahl al-Bayt says talaq can be done. Now, nikah in the school of Ahl al-Bayt. How many witnesses do we need in nikah? How many witnesses need to be in the mosque for nikah? Two, four. No, you don't need any witness for nikah. These two, you just make them feel important that day. Yes. Come here, sign. The poor guy is not known for anything. You make him happy that day. In the school of Al Bayt, nikah, you don't need anyone. Talaq, you need two. Talaq, why do I need witnesses? Why can't I just do talaq quickly? Because Allah doesn't want talaq to go that quick. Yes? Think. Sit back, sit back. I tell you, and I'm sure the Mawlana's here will tell you. We've been in more than enough cases where you'll find someone that may ask why the girl is not allowed to have talaq in her hand. I've dealt with cases where if the lady was allowed to have talaq in her hand, I promise you there'd be a talaq every day in this world. That's not me attacking woman. A woman Allah gave her attributes the man can never have. The warmth, yes? The compassion. The emotion. But sometimes that emotion could go overbearing. Tell him I want talaq. Tell him I want talaq. Tell him I want talaq. Then a few days later, tell him I love him. One minute you're telling me I want talaq. Now you're telling me I love him. Yes, I was emotional. But you could have finished the relationship. Ahl al-Bayt said what? There has to be two witnesses. Those two witnesses shouldn't just come straight away and say, okay, where do you want me to sign Mawlana? No, you should ask. Who are the two getting divorced? Try and patch them up. Try and make, you know, the only time, one of the only times you're allowed to lie in fit is to make two people come back together. Lying is haram, correct? When it comes to marriage references, for example, that people can do, a person can do ghiba. Otherwise, normally ghiba is not allowed. When it comes to making two come back together, you can lie. You could say, do you know how much today he told me he loved you? He didn't say anything, the guy. He was quiet the whole day. But you make her feel like you want to come back together. You're allowed. Ahl al-Bayt said what? You're allowed two witnesses. The two witnesses come there. And even further than that, what did they say? They said after the two get divorced, there is an idda to be observed, correct? In that idda period, the two of you are allowed to still come back and get married without nikah. Your sister and her husband get divorced. If the idda is raj'i and you can return, does your sister need to do another nikah during the idda to get back to her husband? No, just a touch between the husband and her, they're back together. Do you know how many people in the Muslim world don't know why idda was there? Idda number one, to see if there's a pregnancy from the marriage, yes? Number two, to try and hopefully within those few months, the two can come back. If you as a parent can see that your child wants his wife back, your son wants his wife back, your daughter wants the husband back, don't put your emotion ahead of theirs. You see the boy wants her, help him get back. I send this as a message to every parent. You could see your boy misses his wife and you know who caused the issues. Don't let your ego get in the way. If you see your boy is sad, go talk to him. Let him get back. Aida was there, not so that three of you, that it's over. Aida was there so that you may reconcile. Come back. Try and find a way you two can talk again. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't want you to forget each other. He wanted a chance for both of you to possibly forgive each other. But some ladies turn around and say, well, we, can we have the right of divorce? Of course you can. A lady in Islam can divorce her husband. In which situations? One situation is the khul'a divorce, yes? The khul'a divorce, what is it? The khul'a divorce is 
A lady may come to Rasulullah like she did, like Jamila or Rabi'ah bin Pas'ud, came to Rasulullah and said, Ya Rasulullah, I, my husband is a good man, but he's short and bald. I don't have any attraction to him. Can I divorce him? Rasulullah said, are you willing to give back the garden that he gave you? She said, yes. He said, very well. Because she said, I can't fulfill my Islamic duties to him. There's no physical attraction. She was allowed the khul'a divorce. Khul'a means what? The woman asks for the divorce, but she has to give mahar back and expenses possibly above mahar. Then there's a second type of divorce. What is it? The Mubarak divorce. The Mubarak divorce, what is it? When the woman asks for the divorce, her and the husband reach a stage of aversion to each other. They don't want to be around each other. And she says that I'm willing to give my mahar back. Khul'a will be mahar and more. Because the husband may demand more. And the Mubarak, no, you may say, for example, according to different ulama, the mahar will be given back. Then there's a third, which is what? What if my husband is being a devil in this relationship? He hits me and beats me and hits me and beats me. We take it to Mawlana. He says, Mawlana, I love her. He gets back home and he says to her, you see, Mawlana, number one, sees that I love you. Number two, my family has. And your family doesn't. And we have him in our pocket. You can't win. She can't win in this world, you're right. Qiyama, she'll win. Or you be a dictator in this world, don't worry. This world was made for you to be a dictator. Keep being a dictator. There's a Qiyama, you'll be shown like this. The ulama realized there are many husbands when they are hurting their wives, not giving talaq. Is it fair that that lady, the husband five, six, seven, eight years is away, doesn't maintain her. She keeps going to a different Mawlana, one after the other Mawlana says, sorry, I can't. Mawlana, but that man is not looking after my rights. I can't. It's his duty, his rights. He's the one who can give talaq. Until ulama, like say the Sistani, may Allah lengthen his life. And others came and said, listen, if the husband's not giving the divorce and he's not maintaining the wife and there's no way of even changing him, if the local Mawlana is not giving you, come to the representative of the marja, he will allow the hakim al to give talaq for you. In the past, no one was informed of this. And therefore, many wives lived under volm. Daughters lived under volm. And instead of the fathers, you know there are fathers out there, you know they say, doesn't matter if he hits you, I just don't want there to be a divorce because what will the people say about us? Your daughter is being beaten and you're concerned about the people? So say the Sistani has a ruling. That if you are not being maintained and your husband is not giving you talaq and no one's giving you talaq, come to the representative of Sayyid Sistani, wherever he may be, and you go there, you write. They'll call the husband. If he answers and he says there's a chance to change, then alhamdulillah, they'll try and work together. If not, that Hakim al will be the one who will say divorce done. In other words, those who thought the woman has no chance of divorce, think again. If a woman wants to divorce and give her mahar back, give other expenses back, or even go to hakim al shari then the woman is able to do that. And that's why you find Rasulullah would try his hardest to tell the people, divorce may be allowed, but it's the worst halal in the eyes of Allah.